Hi, everyone. <laughs> Just playing with getting you guys a recording of this class that we did today. And we started with awareness of our feet, taking an inventory. Just kind of take four steps and let your body land where it does. And then check in with the weight of your body on your feet. So for me, I'm a little bit more on my left heel and a little bit more on the right side of my foot. And we started to talk about neutral. And what was an exercise that we could do, a connector size movement that we could do for neutral? So at this point we have, we explored, we could do reset shimmy zhuzh, go down into gravity, make the connection through your feet, shoulders, head, just as an awareness practice. Add a little asymmetry, side to side. And why this is important, that as we've aged, or as we're aging, oftentimes we've had uh, a history of traumas, small t traumas, big t traumas, broken things, replaced things, um, or we're kind of cruising around, mm, compensated, we don't have a lot of pain, but we are losing balance and connection. So we tend to overstabilize. Do you find yourself standing like this? Or do you find yourself standing off to the side? And what we want to do through the ASIN paradigm and the ASIN mechanics for moving here on earth is to bring a little bit more awareness. So this is an awareness practice and that we um, bring our consciousness and our focus to the awareness of what it feels like to be in our body and get more connected. So today we started with reset shimmy zhuzh as a practice. Reset shimmy zhuzh, little rotation, lean forward. And then um, what I realized was is we needed a little bit more ankle hinge. So if we're looking at movement minimums, we need to be able to hinge through our ankle without arching our back. And that arch in the back can give us an overstabilization that if we don't have that arch and we come back, we might feel like we're gonna fall. But as we're really developing our authentic balance not um, and moving more towards less stressful movement and moving towards more optimal balance and mobility, then our brain does that and the practice is one practice you could put your hands here another practice is you could put a stick here and kind of feel the engagement of the shoulders and oftentimes our shoulders are here we've practiced parachute shoulders and then getting this ability to move through the front of our ankles Today in class, we put a stick here to give awareness around moving through that ankle and another place that we can kind of help bring awareness is our hand right above our pubic bone and lift it up. And we want it to really feel like our arms are responding. As we go back, they respond. As we go forward, they respond. We can add a little down to go up, to go over, they respond. And then you can even look at the hand as well. <sighs> then we went into standing arcing. And standing arcing has three components. Flexion, which is a rounding of the spine. Push off the ground. Extension, not too much looking up to where the wall meets the ceiling, and then coming back to neutral. 
and we broke it down in uh, the different aspects of it. So the first one is, is we put the sticks by our pinky toes. You can have your sticks high if that feels like it helps you. And the first thing we practiced again was ankle hinge. And we added asymmetrical ankle hinge. And we noticed that as we did the asymmetrical ankle hinge, and actually I remembered we worked on finding stance. So we went wide, down into gravity, on the left to go up and over to the right, fall in, down into gravity on the right to go up and over to the left, come back to center. So these are all centering practices, neutral centering. You can transfer your weight to one foot, lean forward through there. So the first thing we worked on was leaning forward and feeling that we can keep this length in our diaphragm. What the tendency is, is it goes up and our shoulders go in. So you could look at yourself in a mirror to see, or you can just follow along and come to class. And so you can get more specific feedback. Arms responding, ground force moving up. And right there, that becomes a little bit of ground force intentional to hip hinge, to feather back, breathe out. Transfer your weight forward, breathe in. Return to where you started. Asymmetrically transfer your weight forward. Hip hinge. Then push off your feet. And we worked with feeling our low back. Bend the knees, push off the feet, feel the low back. Feel the low back. Because what happens sometimes is we pull ourselves up from our upper body because we're still working on getting that connection of the lower body and through. And that's really important for our balance and our mobility regaining it, maintaining it, taking it in so that we can stay active and independent for the rest of our lives. And it's an investment. Okay, so we practiced that a few times. Feathering, knees bend, breathe out. Transfer your weight forward, push off. Little asymmetry, arms open. Breathe in, come back to center. Again, transfer your weight forward. Curl, knees bend last, breathe out. Transfer your weight forward, push up your feet, push up the sticks. Think about coming up through the back of your body. Breathe in and come back to center. One more time. Transfer the weight forward, over, through, breathe out. Transfer the weight forward, over, through, breathe in. Come back to center, weaving your way back. Feel the essence of the ground rising up through you or feel that you don't feel it. So that's a more practice practice, connect your size movement to be more aware of our neutral. It's important to be in neutral um, so that our joints can work in a cooperative, responsive motion. But neutral is a journey. <laughs> Becoming more neutral, one of the things that I like to talk about is, is that when I get emotionally jiggled, I want to try to remember to do some movement, to comfort, my, comfort myself with movement versus the pattern when I was growing up was eating. The story I tell or I talk about is, is there must have been some upset in the family and it was right before dinner. And we sat down and we ate and of course they all 
probably gave us more food than we really needed. And we didn't have to clean our plate, but I ate the whole thing. And then I realized, oh, I feel better. And so my brain started to have this pattern of upset, okay, we need to eat so we don't feel that hard emotional aspect. But we can learn to do that now as adults and nurture ourselves and parent ourselves in that. Okay, I'm going to finish this up with Sani Arkey and continue making the rest of this class that we did today.